All right, let's talk about Android, but specifically four things that I hate about Android smartphones and why you would always consider them before purchasing any Android smartphone. Number one is the lack of accessories. Okay, look at it this way. iPhone produces only three smartphones in a year. For example, in 2019, it was the iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro, and iPhone 11 Pro Max. Let's talk about cell phones that are produced that use Android. You have smartphones that are coming from Samsung, smartphones that are coming from Nokia, you have cell phones that are coming from Sony, you have Xiaomi, you have OnePlus, you have Google Pixel. Now tell me, who is going to have an easier time when creating accessories between the person who's creating accessories for iPhones and the person who's creating accessories for Android smartphones? Obviously, it's the person who is creating smartphone, uh, smartphone accessories for the smaller number of, of uh, cell phones, which is iOS. Which is why you find out that there is a vast majority of accessories that work well with the iPhone. But there are few to none accessories that work better for the Android smartphones. When I'm talking about accessories, we're talking about things like cases of a smartphone. It's rare to find a case that is going to work well for an Android smartphone. But if you would go to the internet, go to Amazon, go to eBay, go to any online shopping site, you'd find out that there are over 100, over 100 cases for an iPhone 11 only. Not even an iPhone 11 Pro or an iPhone 11 Pro Max. Why? Because it's easier to create accessories that are going to work well for one set of smartphones. Number two, let's talk about apps not working up to their fullest potential on Android smartphones. Okay, here's another thing. Let's talk about Instagram, for example. Here's something that is surprising. When you are taking a, a, an Instagram story on an Android smartphone, it's so bad and so poor compared to when someone is using an, an iPhone. Here's the reason why. Android as a whole has a lot of smartphones, as I have explained to you. And iPhone has only three, for example, 2019. Therefore, it makes it easier for Instagram to create an app that is going to work well only for one set of smartphones only for one set of an operating system which is iOS now think about this if you have so many smartphones that are running on Android so many smartphones that are created by certain companies different companies that means it's gonna be difficult for Instagram to create an Instagram app that is going to work perfectly for all those thousands of Android smartphones so that's another thing that you should always look at if you're a person who likes taking selfies you're gonna have a problem on Android smartphones unless you're going for let's say for example a Samsung which is gonna be better than all the other smartphones but still apps are not gonna work up to their fullest potential on any Android smartphone that is out there because it's difficult to create an app that is going to cater up to its fullest potential for all these Android smartphones that are out there okay if you're an old android user you will know that there's a google play store and in the google play store there is a vast app market that is there you're looking for any app an app that is going to help you have live wallpapers you're going to find it you're looking for an app that is going to help you edit pictures you're going to find it edit music you can find you're going to find not even one but tens of those apps now that advantage becomes a problem and a disadvantage quite fastly because of this, if you have so many apps that are out there that can work with your smartphone, that means the chances of viruses being in your cell phone and malwares being in your cell phone also increase. As the number of apps that are increasing that you have a choice to choose from, that means the chances and the risk of infecting your cell phone with malwares and viruses also increases. That's the third part that I, lay, that I hate about this. It's, it's how susceptible susceptible android smartphones are to viruses and malware and how easy it would be to infect one because of the large app market that is out there which is google app store and also if you don't get an app from the google app market you also have the opportunity to go to google and get an apk of that app now here's the difference when it comes to ios when it comes to ios they have a locked in app market everything you want any app you need you're going to find it in the at the app store you're not going to get any other thing that is not in their app market that is only their iphone market hence they are going to be safer to use and also less susceptible to viruses and malware okay now here's the fourth reason why i hate android smartphones the fourth one is that 
apps on an Android smartphone are limited to the operating system, to the version of the operating system at that year, in that year. For example, now my Android smartphone, which is the Huawei P30, it's running on Android 10. But there are over 50% of Android cell phones that are still running on Android 8. Now there are apps out there that are created to work better, great apps that are created to work better and to work only on Android 10. Now the tricky part is that if you're on Android 8 and you'd love to use that app that is there on Android, that is there for Android 10 users, you can't. Now it doesn't matter how much bigger the app market is, but still your operating system is limiting you, is, is now cutting off your access, your, your access to the apps that you actually want to use. Because a cell phone is just a pathway, it's just a pathway for you to go to your apps. Now, when the operating system of your cell phone is starting to limit you by a version of the operating system, that becomes tricky. I remember I was using a Nokia tree and it was difficult for me to get any app that is ran by Android 10. But still it's an Android smartphone. Now here's what Apple does. Apple, when they release a new version of their operating system, all other smartphones are updated. For example, now they are going to to iOS 14 and smartphones that were running on iOS 13 which is all other iPhones are going to be upgrade, upgraded too you have the iPhone 8 it's gonna get it's, it's definitely to get iOS 14 and you cannot get that on Android that's a gunshot So what this means is that if there were apps that someone on an iPhone was we, was able to use um, that way on iOS 13, now that there's iOS 14, even someone who is on, iOS, uh, on iPhone 8 is going to be able to use those apps. They're not going to be limited by the version of their operating system. And also, now the bad part is that when it comes to Android, if you don't have Android 10 and there are apps that are created for Android 10, you are out, no matter how cool those apps are you are automatically out. Okay, now, I'm not an iPhone, uh, I'm not an Apple fanboy, okay? I just want to make sure that when you purchase your next uh, new smartphone, you know the cons and the pros you have before you choose a smartphone just because it's popular, just because it's the brand name or you're loyal to a brand. I want to make sure that you get a smartphone that is going to work and cater for your needs and work smoothly so. Now, without only looking at the cons of Android smartphones. Let also let us also look at the pros of using Android smartphones. The first um, advantage is the phone choice. Since Android smartphones are produced in thousands in a year, this also means that you have you have choice to choose from a lot of smartphones out there. Because now it's tricky for an iPhone. If we're talking for an iPhone, for example, if you don't have the money to get an iPhone then you cannot own an iPhone. You automatically cannot own an iPhone. But when it comes to Android, if you cannot own a Samsung S20 Ultra, you can still own a Samsung A71. So it gives you a choice when it comes to buying a smartphone. That's one advantage. And then the second advantage is the app market, as I've said. It's because there are so many smartphones that are created out there for Android. This means you're going to have a lot of apps that are out there that can run on your Android device. So whatever app you want, you want a good game, you're gonna get it. You want to pay for one game because the free ones are boring, you're gonna get it. You can't get the game you want on the Google Play Store because of how their app market is created. You can still go to Google and download an APK of that, v of that uh, game and play it on your Android smartphone. The other advantage is um, how Android smartphones are Google friendly. Because since Android is created by Google, this means that any other app that is created by Google, you are also going to be able to use smoothly on your cell phone. And also you have a choice of using any browser on your Android smartphone. Now, for example, when you're using a smartphone and you want to upload videos on YouTube, if you're using a laptop, for example, if you're using a laptop, for example, you can simply be able to upload using Chrome on your laptop. And also, if you're using an Android smartphone, you can also upload a video using Google Chrome that is in your smartphone because everything 
is Google friendly on your Android smartphone. Unlike on Apple where before iOS 14, you are not able to change from one uh, Google from one internet browser to another one. But now, fortunately, you'll be able to pick your uh, your own your favorite browser, which most likely for a lot of people, it's going to be Google Browse. It's going to be Google Chrome. So as much as uh, Android smartphones suck because of how Android is is as an operating system, it still have a lot of advantages that work well and work for. The people who cannot afford smartphones that are way expensive which mostly are iphones because you can get an, a, a cell phone that is running on android for 500 rands and you can get a cell phone that is running on android for 35 or 40 thousand rands you know so it gives you that choice and if you're enjoying this video so far please don't forget to subscribe and also hit the like button so that i will know what type of videos you guys like so that's going to make the end of today's video and I really hope that this was helpful to you so that whenever you are thinking of buying a smartphone next time, you are always putting in mind and taking into consideration these cons that come with Android smartphones. I'm sure everyone wants a smartphone that is going to be smooth to use and all that. So that's going to make the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.